Okay, so we're going to go to general application practice exam. We're going to open this up and then we are going to click on the download. Okay, once you get to download, you're going to open up the zip file and you're going to double click on the general application, right click on the modify queue, copy it, and then go to your documents and paste it, right click, and then paste it here and then you should be able to access it. Okay, I'm going to minimize this for now and then go back to my exam. Okay, now that I'm in my exam, I'm going to click Begin Exam. Okay, um, and then we're just going to go over the the answers for this. So the design background color scheme can be changed from. So these are all of the different options. So we're going to go open up Inventor. And then in Inventor, what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, New, Standard, Create. Okay, just so that we're in the drawing, we can go to File, Option, and then it's either colors or display, right? So in colors, we can change the color scheme to light, deep blue, uh, millennium, and so forth, and then hit Apply. So the answer for that one was File, Options, Color Tab. Okay, we click Next. What is the hotkey used to zoom? Okay, so I was able to create a cylinder and um, I'm going to click on F3 and I can click left click the mouse in and out and that's how I zoom. If I were to hold on to F2, it will pan the area and then F3 will zoom. All right, so now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click F3 and hit next. Okay, where's the uh, user? interface where in the user interface is the browser so if you remember that the top is the ribbon the left side is the browser which will remain the same so I'm click B hit next okay project files are project files are um, either databases contain all the revisions of designs configuration files that contain the file location for things like materials and the parents library and your um, inventory design files related to particular projects. So it's actually configuration files that contain the file location. Okay. Number five, it says open a new default project file in Inventor, expand the folder option, type in the value that content center files is set to. So I'm going to go open up my Inventor. Okay, I'm going to go back to, um, I'm going to X this out. I'm not going to save it. Okay, so when I go to projects, so when I open, let's see if I can open a project right here. So I can double click on the project. Let's go to new assembly presentation. No, that's not it. So um, up here where it says project, if you just hover over it, it should say create, edit, or activate workspace tile. So I'm just going to click on the projects and then under default, it says where in the folder options. So I believe it's here. So you want to expand by clicking the plus on folder options. And it says where are the content center files. So the content center file says default right here. So we're going to hit um, done. Go back to our answer key right here. And then we're going to type our answer in default. And then we're going to hit next. Okay. And last it says open the modify queue. IPT. The default top, front, and right view is on this part has been modified. Reset the front view of the cube. What color is the default top view? So I'm going to go back to um, in, uh, my folder right here. Go to my document. Here's my modify cube. Okay, you can double click on it, which then will open to this right into Inventor, or you can start a document and then drag it over. So I'm going to go to home which is where it's at. The top color is blue. So I'm going to open up my exam. I'm going to type blue. Then I'm going to hit next. And then it should say you've answered it all and then end your exam. And then, then you want to take a screenshot of this that contains, um, let's go to snipping tool. You want to take a screenshot of this area right here. And then you should have all of the information that you need.